With the Owl House's watching and dreaming finale coming out on April 8th, I thought that I would share some theories of mine that are a bit more… out there. Obviously, this is all just speculation, but there are some theories I have that just line up a bit too well. And without further ado, let's get started. This first theory is a doozy. What if I told you, I believe Odalia will be the person that will ultimately lead to the defeat of Bellows? Now, that's a bit dramatic, but hear me out. In For the Future, it is established that King and Odalia have a connection with each other. While they did technically meet in Clouds on the Horizon, they did not talk to each other. And during the fight with Odalia, King himself was nowhere to be seen. Of course, in For the Future, they only have two lines together, but that connection has been made. And that is what's important. You probably know that Odalia is power hungry, ready to do whatever is needed to stay in the top. One thing you might have overlooked or forgotten, however, is that Odalia was there when Puppet Rain got possessed by Bellows. You can even see her reaction for a few frames as this occurred. Due to this, I believe that Odalia will not only be in the finale, but also play a major role. I believe Odalia will initially attempt to help Bellows and slash or the Collector, staying in line with her character. With Bellows, she will give valuable information about the Collector, and for the Collector, information about the Hexite Gang or King. But then, Bellows will betray her, causing any attempt to get into their good graces to be nullified. How does this cause her to lead to Bellows' downfall, I hear you ask? Well, there are two ways I feel this will go. She will either go to the next powerful person she knows, King and Ida, or she will see Amity in danger and realize her mistake. In both cases, Odalia will warn Ida and King about what is going on, and possibly even that the Hexide Gang is back in the Demon Realm, leading their group to fight Bellows and the Collector. This way, she ultimately leads to the downfall of Bellows. Hey, I warned you that these would be far-fetched, but you can't deny that this theory has merit to it. Considering Odalia is like the anti camilla it will be very interesting to see how her character plays a role in the finale. But let's move on to Theory 2. King's magic will turn the puppets back into people. Now, this admittedly is not as wild as it is confusing, but keep listening. I found it very interesting how Lilith says that Titan magic cancels out the Collector's magic. Cancels out is a term used only when something is already there, but then gets nullified or negated by another thing. This leads me to believe that King's magic will cancel out the Collector's magic that he put on the people of Bonesboro and that he will first test this with Hootie, which if you forgot, is already with King and the others. Admittedly, I don't have anything else to back up this theory besides Lilith's choice of words. Heck, even in the scene where they talk about this, there is a picture of a titan using his magic on a collector, who appears to be… unalive. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. And while we wait, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit the like and subscribe button, so please do so. Theory 3, String Bean will defeat the Collector. Firstly, I feel that there will be two final fights, one between King and the Collector, and the other between Luz and Bellows. I've seen a lot of people excited for Luz and the Collector to go head to head, but King is the only being who has the slightest chance of taking on the Collector, so unless people are excited to see a 10 second battle, I feel that their enthusiasm might be misplaced. Luz's fight has always been against Bellows, with Bellows representing everything Luz isn't and is quite literally the source of all her problems. But them fighting isn't the main theory, it is how they fight. At some point, Bellows will have to leave Rain's body, and then it will just be Luz and Bellows. However, Luz now has Stringby, her newly acquired palace man, and if there's one thing about Bellows, he really doesn't like palace men. Remember in For the Future when Luz nearly evaporated her friends? I believe that is foreshadowing to what she will do with Bellows. Brutal. Yeah. Deserved? Double yeah. Also, given how much this show emphasizes on Good Witch Azura, and the fact that Luz is still in her outfit, I am betting that there will be a NOW EAT THIS SUCKER callback from the very first episode, which if there is, I will be more than happy for. Theory 4, something bad will happen to Willow. For the Future had a lot of hunt though. A little too much if you ask me. It honestly got to the point where it felt that Luz and Amity's relationship was the side relationship in this episode, but I digress. Now, I believe that so much of Huntlow was shown for more than just fan service. 
obviously it served for Hunter getting his powers, but I feel that the show is doing a classic, oh look, everyone is happy and everything is swell, before going in for the gut punch. I believe that this gut punch will involve Willow. Why Willow specifically? Well, simply because Hunter has already gotten his fair share of trauma and tragedy. But it also makes sense from a storytelling standpoint. Willow is one of the earliest characters introduced to the show and loses first friend in the Boiling Isles. In fact, she is everybody's first friend as seen with Gus, Amity, and Hunter. If something were to happen to her, it would affect everybody, and the show knows that, with how much they focused on Willow and for the future. Of course, I don't think she's gonna die or anything, it is Disney after all, but the show might pull an amphibia and make it seem like something bad has happened to her, which might give the rest of the squad a much needed burst of energy as they avenge their friend. This would honestly serve so well for Willow's character, who has so much unmet potential as the one common friend everyone loves archetype so often seen in these kind of shows. If this does happen, you can bet, it will be gut-wrenching and pretty epic. I want to know your thoughts on these theories. Be sure to tell me in the comments below. See ya!